Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Emma and this is So Do Emma, my sewing channel. This is where I talk all about sewing patterns which are size inclusive and my fabrics that I've bought, some of my stash, and my makes, my plans for dressmaking, my sewing dressmaking journey, <laughs> let's just say. <laughs> So, excuse the croaky, horsey voice, this is hay fever related, can't do anything about it because there's beautiful pollen in there, it makes the bees and nature happy, so that's okay, just doesn't make my nose or this happy, um, but fortunately it's not as bad as previous years, so hey hey. So, what am I wearing today? I'm wearing the Davenport dress and this is a Friday patterns dress. I made this up maybe last year and it's made out of a cotton shirting. I think this is X designer giving Ted Baker vibes um, and I bought this from So Me Sunshine. I think it was quite a popular print so not quite sure if Stormy Sunshine still has it in stock but I will go and have a look and link it for you if I can find it. However, Davenport dress goes from extra small all the way up to 7x so it's the full size range and that is equates to 0 to 34 US sizing so a really really good size range. I will try and remember and put up the measurements to what it goes up to in centimetres and inches so they should appear round about now. <laughs> um, yeah so that is the Davenport dress and I, I'll pop in a couple of photos of me wearing it. Um, Yeah I wore it for picnic pal palosama which was hosted by um, Paige Joanna and Paige So Georgie um, and I went and had a picnic but I didn't take a photo of me having the picnic I took a photo of the salad that I had in a lovely little scenic uh, spot that we stopped at while we were having a little walk with the dog um, yeah but um, I took a picture in the garden woohoo so anyway, I'm here today, three minutes in, to talk about my April and May makes. Yeah, don't know what happened, but it's just went a wee bit. <laughs> Worth my video was a bit sparse, right? But I think I've just felt that I didn't make it much in April. I should have did a video anyway, because I know you like that kind of content, so... Here it is, we've got a double family. I think it's around about eight weeks. Um, I'm not going to blab on too much because there's a couple that are duplicates of patterns. Um, and yeah, you might have seen them on Instagram as well. But I will um, talk you through what I think of them. Um... <laughs> And if there's any sort of amendments that I would like to make, future versions or amendments I, I definitely want to make for this version. Okay, so first off, not really seasonal at all, but we'll talk about the Jackson pullover. This is, um, I haven't shown this on Instagram, so this is a first look for you guys. This is made out of sweat shirting. I think it's a French terry look. And um, I got this in Toronto about four years ago now with um, me and the lovely Andy. Um, I'll pop on her Instagram hashtag. We met in Toronto. Um, she used to live in Toronto, but she's moved to Ottawa, I think. And we picked up this sweatshirting. I believe she's made her sweatshirting a couple of years ago. And I'm lagging behind as per usual. But 
As soon as she saw that, I said, do you mind if I copy you? Because it's absolutely gorgeous. And I just love this colour. So, um, because it's got the black flecks, I put in a black band. You can see one of my new labels. It's the Sarah Hearts labels that I picked up in my First for Fabrics haul. You can see my face going, oh, if you Anyway, um, it's where you drop it. <laughs> um, and the same with the cuffs and the hemband. I've just put on a lovely soft ribbing that I had a moustache and I had to get more. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's really good. The other Jackson pullover that I did um, is a beige one. You've seen this on the gram, I believe. And then, um, unfortunate thing, I must have cut it out. And there must have been something on my cutting mat because there's this stain and I've tried everything to get it out. It's like maybe pollen, but it just will not come out. Um, but I use this sweatshirt for just hanging around the house. It's lovely. It's that cotton and linen sweatshirting, which I got from... Um, so yarn crafty and it's a lovely feel um it's got a loop back in there you can see and i put the diy daisy tiling machine collaboration label in there i use a lovely ribbing that i think i picked it up oh would it have been i think it was a um ribbing from Blackbird Fab that I put in the basket thinking it was going to be ribbing that I could use for a top but I'm starting to use it for like like necklines and stuff so it's a lovely sort of melange and yeah per perfect for hanging about the house I might even try and dye it I do like this colour though so I'm like they really want to dye it, so yeah, the the um and I'm worried if dye covers this horrible stain. Try bleach. I don't know if that made it any better, probably not, but hey go. Um yeah, I really like the fit of the Jackson pullover. That's a pattern by Helen's Closet and it comes in two size ranges. I think it's that. Uh, 0 to a 22 and then a 12 to 34 um, and it's unisex as well so yeah it's a really good versatile um, pattern I sat this way because I thought the sun was going to stop radiating its brightness but obviously not I'm like mm. <laughs> so yeah um what was what was I saying? Yeah, I love the Jackson pullover. I've not tried it for the T shirt yet, but I want to. Um, it's a, a brilliant pattern. It's so inclusive as well as being gender neutral as well. So I can make it for my brother. I've got his measurements, and I'm gonna try and get my dad's measurements so I can make him one for Christmas and his wife and um. Yeah, I'll get her measurements and see if she would like something like that. But the great thing about the Jackson pullover is you can make it into a sweater dress. Um, and you can now have a free extension for the hood. So you could put a hoodie on the tee or the pullover. Oh yeah. So yeah. And I've even put a zip in a hoodie. I really have to do that um, and talk to you about this because... I'm like, ah! Um, yeah, that was a big thing. So, yeah, I think I'll do that this week coming after this vlog. It'll be a little feature talking about how I did this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, that is the Jackson Tees. Next up, we're still on jumpers. And I'm not really seasonal appropriate because this week in Scotland... Especially 
north of Scotland, they had exceptional weather for me. Um, it's been hot and really dry. Um, yeah, but here in Edinburgh, it's also hot and really dry too. But it's the Mila jumper. I finally finished it. I had it cut out for ages. I made it out of this, um, this Eco Vera. I'll pop up the mix, the blend of the fabric that I use. Um, I got it from Bond Textile. Now, I went shopping to Bond with Emma, coffee glass slippers, coffee and glass slippers, who's in Glasgow. And we wanted to catch up and I fancied going to Bonn. I had never been. So Emma, I met Emma at a flat and then we went over by car to Bonn Textiles on a sunny south side. <laughs> so yeah, I made the Mila jumper by Tammy Handmade. Now she's recently updated her um, sizing. So I think most of her newer patterns I think the Mila jumper was the first pattern that was a bit more size inclusive. Um, yeah, it goes up to that and I'll pop the sizing there. Because in my head, it's not in the game today. <laughs> and this vlog will probably be quite long already. So, yeah, so I put a Kyle in the Machine one. I think I got that out of the calendar. Um, yeah, the countdown calendar or the advent calendar. Um, and yeah, I like it. It is quite oversized, so I think next time I make the Mila Junker, I'm gonna definitely size down. I just feel maybe it's the material that is stretched out slightly. I have washed it since I tried it on, so I'm gonna try it on and see how I fit. I mean, it came together really quite quickly. I have overlocked the inside, yeah, I think I will definitely size down because it is quite big and I feel that kind of drowns me and make me bigger but yeah I do like it though so it's not it's not a fail so this is a make in progress I'm going to have to unpick this and it's a third camel jumpsuit and um, unfortunately when I first made it I just felt it was too long. The first two um, caramel jumpsuits well, are going to have the same issue. Um, but I know how to fix this now. <laughs> By not cutting off too much or the waistline. So, um, I found the caramel jumpsuit. The drop in the crotch was really quite sufficiently big. But it is designed to be like this. So, me getting on my right, we're going to have to fix this because I would love to wear this without the thought, without having my left legs chafing in the summer heat. So, I unpicked the waistband. I didn't have a waistband, but it will be soon. <laughs> Because it'll just have to have an adjustment like that. So anyway, <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> um, so I unpicked the pockets. Um, I unpicked part of the lower half of the zip, and I took three and a half inches of the middle bit between the I took it off the trouser part. Now, I should have stuck to maybe two, not three and a half. So, yeah, maybe even two and a half, and that's including seam allowances. So, yeah. Um, I did notice that my tape measure that I used, I didn't realise that there was such a big gap between the start of the tape and one inch, and that's where it went wrong. Um, plus I was at so tune when I cut it, so maybe slightly distracted. Yeah, talking to everyone. <laughs> oh yeah, so I went all in and I tried it on and I was like, oh, it's slightly tight now, it's not so roomy. So yeah, I'm going to have to unpick it 
and then put a wee waistband in just to give me that inch more in the crotch <laughs> all the joys of sewing so that means more I'm picking very similar to the um other stuff so I'm going to have to get my booty on and just start unpicking and get the bit that I cut off folded and make a waistband of some description it's fine it's fine we'll, we'll get there in the end maybe before summer so I can show you and go, yay, I fixed it. Next up is one of the so recreate the looks. Um I did an inspiration of I think I saw this on Instagram maybe a year or so ago and I thought, oh that's really good for us uh, so recreate the look. And I already had something for that year. So um this came up again. I was like I always keep them in pinned in my Pinterest. So yeah, I saw this look again and said, you know what? I've got this material. It's perfect for this recreate look. Um so I made the Emerson trousers and these are by True Bias. Um they're a pretty good size range as well now. It goes up to a size thirty, if not thirty two. Um, and I put a couple of labels on. One is by um, Hazel Georgie or Hazel Sister. <laughs> and the other one was by Joy Margaret, who owned, used to own Pink Coat Club and she did labels, so straight for these. And I love the Emerson trousers. I think I'm going to have to maybe put a wee bit more room in the crotch area around the belly or just be a wee bit tight otherwise I uh, go on a ridiculous diet um, I just I find that a wee bit tight I don't know but yeah I know that is a sort of maybe an alteration that I could do just to make them a bit more comfortable but it doesn't stop me not wearing them so yeah so there we go <laughs> That's the Emerson. Oh, and I used a cotton and linen mix, and this was from Lamadri Fabrics quite some time ago. It is so nice and soft. I've been pulling this off and on my shelves for ages, um, and I'm finally happy to actually have it all made up. Oh, yes. So this goes lovely with a white top. Or the white top that I paired it with instead of a tee. Because I didn't have enough time to get the white fabric for the tee as a white jersey um, to make the full look. I probably, it was this High Sophie by the Door that I made it. And that's in a good size range too. The High Sophie I um, collaborated with. Christine who sews um, you can catch that video ages ago um, we were meant to do another I think it was Evelyn's cup by John Knotts which I still got to make so I apologise um, I want to make a green jersey top with that one because I love green <laughs> um, yeah that should be maybe maybe try and make it in June I'll pull out the fabric and the pattern and get that going because skirts are brilliant in summer as long as I've got some um, tracking panels on. Sorry, TMI. Um, so, yeah, the Emersons are quite wide leg, um, but I want to delve into other uh, treasure patterns like the Pietras and also the, oh, the free range slack. I keep meaning to make them as well, so I would quite like to get that. So that is that. That is the Emerson's. I really enjoyed making them again. Now, skirt pattern is this one. I missed out on the So Frugal um, makes on this one the time, but I did sort of push it in there, you know? <laughs> um, I made it the 
Romana out of this gorgeous viscose fell. Yeah, I got it from an Irish shop um, online. Um, and I had it in my deed stash. Didn't sell, so I put it in my stash again. And I'm quite happy I did. Um, I put a lovely um, oh, little rosy cheeks label, handmade. Um, in the back there, I love the Sabina skirt by the uh, the little pomegranate or AK Romana. It's a free pattern and it's really, really size inclusive. It's 0 to 34. And I love the ruffle. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I wouldn't change it. I'm going to make more. I really want to take it to Rome for um, the wedding weekend. But as you know, I lost my passport so I couldn't go. I was gutted. Gutted. Because it looked pretty amazing. <laughs> so, yeah. The Silo Top by Closet Core. I forgot to actually bring it out with me. But anyway, um, I made this out of a merchant's mill linen. It's got a window pane effect. Really nice. This is the second pillow top that I made. But it's such a different top because the first one that I made, as you may know, it was out of a viscose twiller that I picked up from Sister Mintaka ages ago uh, it's just got a mid-century illustration on it and it's just mwah. the viscose twill really lets it hang nicely it's got a lovely drape so it's a big huge comparison to the linen one that i made and this was part of a collaboration with a lovely adele so for serenity and tamlin as well who is just as lovely in person, I still meet to meet. To, I still to meet Adele from So Serenity, but I have met Tamlin a few times, and she's just amazing. She's a little ray of sunshine. So hello, Tamlin, if you're watching. Anyway, and yeah, the snow top by Closet Core didn't get the Pietra pants done, but they're on the table ready to be cut. I've done some alteration before I get going. Um, there's also the Serpia pants by Claude, Claude Accord that I've just came out on club last month um, so I really want to do them as well. But first I'll do the Pietra pants and see how I get on. They're quite um, flamboyant, the colour that I've chosen. I've just had that material in my stash for a while, so I'm just going to crack on and make it and see if what adjustments I need to make after. I should just do the shorts in like a twally fabric. I should, shouldn't I? Mm. <laughs> but anyway, the Cedar Top, really enjoyed making it. Um, I think I did a 20 to a media. 26 going from the bust to the hip should be a 20 I'm not quite sure can't quite remember really sorry <laughs> um but um really enjoy wearing this linen top um it goes rather well with my um oh op opal trousers by Megan Newton which I did a blog spot for the social studio. Amanda reached out to me and asked me if I would like to do one again. And I said, of course. And I used that lovely cotton twill for that. So these two go really nice. And I think the closet core would go, the silo top would go well with my green Emerson pants as well. So that is quite a good range on that one. I think it would go quite well with most fabrics. Oh, most trousers, um, even a skirt, if I had to play in the skirt, I think it would quite work quite well with that. So, I'm, I'm thinking out loud here. 
So, the final make is the Donny shirt. Now, you know the Donny shirt. I think it's taken to be a, quite a favourite on Instagram and the sewing community. There's lots of uh, them popping up. And I've got about three or four ready to be cut out and um, sewn. So, I'm going to get cracking with that because I've got a few one and a half pieces of fabric that I really want to get using. And make a wee bit more space in my stash for stuff that's in bags um, and get them on the shelf so I can actually see what I've got. Um, I really want to start up the stash hub just so I can document all my fabrics and see what I've actually got because I think I forget what I've actually got and yeah, I just seem to pack, keep stockpiling. <laughs> So, yeah, the Donny shirt by Friday Pattern Company. This is one of the latest um, sewing patterns and I made my tester version out of a shrimp. I think it's shrimps. Shrimp or porns. This is a viscous adobe crepe. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. I wish I had did it on the cross grain of the fabric because I tend to find that it grows this way instead of lengthways, which I would have preferred if it grew lengthways throughout the time that I wore it. But I'm fairly happy with the fit. I think I might try it down next time, but lengthen it as well. I do like the crop effect, but kind of maybe stops me wearing it from on days because I feel like it just might show my belly that I'm not quite keen to show sometimes if you know what I mean but yeah really really enjoyed making it it's got lovely yoke detail it's got gathers on the back short sleeves um, which are just nicely set in um, it's got a lovely collar detail and it comes in like that. You can just about see the stitch in there. Um, yeah, so I really, really enjoy it. And again, it goes from an extra small to 7x, 0 to 32 in your sizing. Um, yeah, so I quite enjoyed this make, to be quite honest. So that is my april and me makes i hope you enjoyed them and um if you've got any questions or any comments just pop it in the description below or the comments box below i'll try and provide all the information in the box below like um fabrics that i use and the patterns that i use so you can go and shop unfortunately some of those fa fabrics might not be available but it gives you an idea of what works with what pattern um, and i hope this is quite inspirational if you have enjoyed this video please give this a little thumbs up and a comment also if you haven't already subscribed please do consider subscribing oh the blabber and i will be back on your screen very shortly with a couple of other vlogs. I've got counting coming and it feels good and life is a little less crazy so hopefully I'll get some content on the content wagon so I can just drop a couple of times a week so I'm not like rushing at last minute trying to record, edit and get it out. Uh -huh, if you know what I mean so yeah. Oh, but I'm gonna love you and leave you and do something with us. Go and <laughs> Bye. Golden. I follow only golden.